to Israel. We are joined by our correspondent in Jerusalem, Iris Makler. Iris, thank you very much for joining us live on the programme. We've just heard uh, from Mike Pompeo. Uh, he voiced his almost unconditional support to Israel. Can you tell us exactly how controversial this issue of annexation of West Bank territories is? Well, it's very controversial because if you just look at the history, Israel uh, captured these territories from what was then Jordan, Jordanian territory, more than 50 years ago, and it's never annexed it in all these years, including in 10 years of Benjamin Netanyahu's most recent rule. It's also controversial because America opposed it, Jordan opposed it, the Arab League opposed it. Now we've seen a change because this administration, with the deal of the century way back before the corona era, uh, set up, said that Israel could annex certain parts of the West Bank in that um, plan that was put together by Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, but it would be in return for Palestinian statehood in the other parts of the West Bank. So what we've seen is that Israel's right wing, and it's a very was a very hard right government, was keen to do the annexation, not so keen to do the giving back of the other sections and calling them the creation of a Palestinian state. So perhaps that's part of what uh, the US Secretary of State is discussing in this very long meeting that he's having with the Israeli Prime Minister. And here is, of course, Mike Pompeo has other topics on his agenda, Hezbollah, Iran, and perhaps, surprisingly, China. Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, the Chinese angle is the one the Israeli media has been uh, concentrating and focusing on, and we've heard quotes off the record from American officials expressing how important this issue is. You could say it's important always, that kind of tension between uh, America and China, which has really exploded now during the corona times. We have seen an increase in Chinese investment, $1.5 billion of investment in Israel over the past five years, let's say. We have seen greater cooperation, scientific cooperation between Israeli universities and Chinese universities. None of that pleases the United States and especially not now. So perhaps another uh, item on that long, long, long agenda that they had, the long time they had together, would be how will Israel balance its, its increased cooperation, economic cooperation with China with its long-term military and strategic friendship with Washington?